Hey, how you doing? I'm Steve. Welcome to my channel. Well, we're getting close to Valentine's Day, and if you're anything like me, your thoughts turn to love and romance and rom-com movies and... Okay, okay. That's not me, but it is my wife. And I'm a good husband, at least I think I am. So my thoughts turn to what can I do to make her happy? Well, the best way I've found to set a mood for your significant other is through music. Now, yeah, there might be some easy listening stuff like Kenny G or Barry White, but that just ain't my style. So what's my go-to? Well, hair metal bands, of course. If you follow my suggestions, I guarantee you will be as successful as I am to satisfy your significant other's desire for romance. Warning Steve is by no means an expert in anything, let alone love, and his statements have not been verified or proven effective. Therefore, anyone employing such suggestions does so at their own risk. There is no guarantee implied or otherwise, despite what this fool says. 10. My number 10 pick, Love Kills by the Vinnie Vincent Invasion. It's from their All Systems Go album in 1988. This is a great song featuring the amazing vocals of Mark Slaughter and the strong songwriting of Vinnie Vincent. Now this song is about the passion of losing your girl and letting her know you just can't go on without her. This song was also featured in the wonderful rom-com Nightmare on Elm Street 4. Nine. Number nine, Locked In by Judas Priest, Turbo Lover, 1986. This should be a given. Judas Priest should be on all of your romantic playlists. Where else can you find a song that lets your significant other know that you're their puppy dog and you love leather and studs? Eight. Number eight, Alone Again by Dawkin, the Tooth and Nail album of 1984. Ah, Dawkin, one of my favorite bands. Don Dawkins singing like he really knows what it's like to be alone again without you. I wonder if he really knows. Anyway. Seven. Number seven, Little Guitars by Van Halen, the Diver Down album, 1982. You got Eddie's guitars, you got Dave's vocals, he's singing to a senorita, and he's singing about an etch-a-sketch. Who doesn't love an etch-a-sketch? Anyway, what? Catch, catches can catch okay forget the extra sketch but hey that's what i hear anyway i love this song six number six heaven by warrant this comes from the dirty rotten filthy rich album in 1989 warrant was all about the sappy love songs of the 80s and no one did it better now this song says exactly what your significant other wants to hear and you don't even have to think about it janie lane took care of that for you so there you go. This is a gift. Five. Number five, I Still Love You by Kiss from the Creatures of the Night album 1982. This song is awesome. It's powerful and passionate. And it's another example of the great writing skills of Vinnie Vincent and Paul Stanley's vocals at his heyday. I love this song. Except I'm starting to realize there's a definite theme to these hair metal band love songs. I didn't realize they had such a hard time hanging on to a girl. Who knew? Four. Number four, Give Me All Your Love Tonight by Whitesnake from the Whitesnake album in 1987. What a great song. David Coverdale has the ultimate sultry voice for love songs, and no one was better at writing a song about love, everything that goes with it, and hot chicks dancing around on white jaguars. David Coverdale is the man. Three. Number three, Sweet Child of Mine from Appetite and Destruction by Guns N' Roses in 1987. What can I say? Everyone knows this song. Everyone loves it. It's got everything. It's got great vocals, great guitar, great words. I mean, it's a great song. And, you know, what about Axl Rose's Sway, you know? Back in the day, girls loved that. Do they still love that, you know, that swaying thing? I don't know. Probably not so much. What do you think? Two. Number two, I'll Never Let You Go, Steelheart, 1990. This is a fantastic song. Milianko Matijevich, if I said his name right, sorry if I didn't. He has a phenomenal voice, still does. And this has everything a love song is supposed to have. Great guitars, great words, passion, everything. I love this song. So will your significant other. Honorable mentioned. Before we get to number one, I gotta throw in an honorable mention. It's Wait by White Lion from their Pride album in 1987. I had to include this song. It's one of my favorites. Mike Tramp's vocals are awesome. 
Vito Brada was a master at that guitar. I loved watching him play. I wish he still played. He hits amazing song. One. My number one pick, Love of a Lifetime from Firehouse, 1990. This is the ultimate love song of the hair metal era. It was our wedding song along with thousands of others. And this song sold 500,000 copies all by itself. That's completely amazing. Now, of course, this comes with a disclaimer. You better be careful. You play this for your significant other. You better be ready to get married. I'm just saying, this song is powerful. So there you have it, my picks for the top 10 hair metal love songs that's sure to set the mood for you and your significant other. What do you think? Do you agree with me? Or do you think I missed something? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, hope you had fun. I sure did. If you did, do me a favor and click the like button. And if you wanna see more things like this, consider subscribing. If there's a subject you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. I'd be happy to do it. Until next time, remember, love, and rocks not dead. Take care. God bless.